Chronic Lyme disease um, is, is a name that's sort of been attached to people who, it's, it's used kind of loosely, and it's been attached to, to various different collections of symptoms and syndromes. And um, I personally don't like the term because I think it's abused uh, too often. Um, it's given to people who probably don't have Lyme disease at all. But the, the question of, quote, chronic Lyme disease, unquote, or so-called chronic Lyme disease, and confusing it with rheumatoid arthritis, I think I would rather call that Lyme arthritis. Uh, because certainly arthritis is a very real part of Lyme disease. It, uh, it was the first symptom that was recognized when the disease was recognized. So, like rheumatoid arthritis, people with Lyme arthritis can have long-standing arthritic symptoms. But some of the major differences are uh, assuming that we don't have the predisposing factors such as somebody knows they had a tick bite sometime in the past that developed a, a typical rash or some other neurologic symptoms uh, which might go along with Lyme disease. Assuming that somebody has the arthritis in isolation or isn't very good at remembering things or whatever. Uh, for instance, if it's a child who may not be able to give much of a history, um, some of the key points are that rheumatoid arthritis is almost always bilaterally symmetrical. So if you come in with it in your left knee, usually you're going to have it in your right knee. If you come in in, in your hands, it'll be in both hands. Uh, whereas Lyme arthritis uh, usually or doesn't have to be. In fact, it usually isn't symmetrical. It usually only involves one or very few joints, whereas rheumatoid can involve many. Usually, Lyme arthritis can involve almost any joint, but it most often involves the large joints, whereas rheumatoid arthritis frequently in involves the small joints. And people with rheumatoid arthritis, we know, have the problems with their hands and their wrists and that type of thing. Uh, they will also have large joint involvement, but if there's predominance of small joint involvement and it's symmetrical, it's probably not Lyme. Um, so those are some of the differentiating factors. There, there are other lab tests. Uh, there's something called a rheumatoid factor, which people run as almost the first line thing when somebody comes in with arthritis. That should not be positive with Lyme disease, although it's a fairly nonspecific test, so I can't say it would def definitely be, never be positive.